Hello friends and enemies, today we have a very special video and that is on all female goth bands from Latin America. And keep in mind, this is all female, not just has a woman as a lead singer, or has mostly women, has a female member, or else this list would be incredibly long. And I wanted to keep it concise, so it's just all female. And I found a whopping four bands. There may be more, but these are the ones I have heard of for now. And as per usual, we don't want a copyright strike, so we don't include any of the actual music. I just describe it to you. But if you want to hear it for yourself, I do have links to their platforms where you can listen to them linked below. Anyways, let's get started. Starting us off is La Reina de los Condenados from Peru. And you may remember them from my 2019 albums video because I said I liked their album Ucupacha. And they are a pretty cool band. They have a very raw sort of bass sound and guitar sound. And they sing about a lot of deadly sort of topics. And they describe themselves as vampire rock and also ancestral rock because there is a strong indigenous Peruvian influence to their music, in case you couldn't guess by the album name Ucupacha, which is the Incan underworld. And sometimes that shows up in their sound with sometimes there's like a siku, which is, you know, that little uh, wooden pipe thing. You know when you hear it. And that makes them one of the most original sounding goth bands I've heard in a while. Next, we have Diavel Strain from Chile, which you may remember from my video about goth bands from Chile. <laughs> and also because I reviewed one of their albums. They are a dark wave duo, and they've described themselves as abysmal, which makes sense because you do very much sound like you're falling through an abyss when you listen to their music because there's a lot of echoey dissonance sounds aside from the more usual dark wavy sounds and it's just two of them they uh they're on you know guitar and bass and then there's also some keyboards vocals all that but it doesn't sound you know minimalist it's very layered and all that and also fun fact they describe themselves as queer and feminist so if you're looking for that sort of representation in goth music there you go <laughs> next we have electrostroke which is a band i talked about in my goth bands of costa rica video see all these bands you've heard of before they are a dark synth band something in their sound strikes me as i don't know it almost has a 90s ethereal-ish feel sometimes except not because they're very just synthy in a typical synth way but they almost have this like 80s alt pop sound too especially in the vocals i i can't really describe it it just it reminds me of a very specific era that sort of like early 2000s late 90s goth but also has an 80s feel probably because you know they're electronic but they're from recently they're not from the early 2000s or late 90s they're they're from the 2010 the late 2010s in fact and anyways Give them a listen so you can hear for yourself, because my description is all over the place. Last but not least, we have Dist. Yes, that is how you say their name. I sent them a message on Instagram so I can know how I could say it. And they are from Costa Rica. I did not talk about them in my Costa Rican goth bands video because I hadn't heard of them when I made that video. And they describe themselves as New Cave, which I guess is like neo bat cave music which makes sense because they definitely have this trad almost proto goth sound to their music sort of like the pre goth post punky sound in you know their instrumentals both in you know the you know the guitars and bass sound but also because they have that spooky keyboard thing going and there's very rough vocals which is very interesting and unique in my opinion and pretty unusual to goth actually that's pretty interesting anyways those are the bands like i said four of them not a long list and if you want to hear them for yourselves i have their info linked below i'll also include their youtube accounts so that you can do that thing and tell them i sent you <laughs> or or don't if you think that's obnoxious but you can if you want to and 
I will also include my own social media information in case you want to follow me on Instagram or Twitter or Facebook or Tumblr. I have all of those. And uh, until next time, see ya. Bye.